Hi friends, in this video we are discussing a problem on surface integral. Okay, till now we are done a problems on surface integral that is evaluate in double integral over s f bar dot n bar ds. But in this problem we are doing a double integral s pi n bar ds. Okay, n cap where n cap is here outward unit normal vector. The difference between these two problems is here you see f bar is a vector, n cap is a vector r. These two are vector na dot product of the vector gives what? Scalar. Scalar integration will gives again a scalar. But in this case, pi is what here? Scalar point function. And n bar is a outward unit normal vector. So, scalar and vector if you multiply it, then the result is nothing but vector only na. So, the integral will become a vector. That's it. So, that is the difference between these two. Now, this problem I am going to solve. What will happen? You see, first to evaluate the double integral over s yes, pi n cap ds First, you required pi value, later n cap value, and the surface and the limits uh, you required. You see, pi already they are given in the problem. First, I am uh, reading the problem. Evaluate double integral over s yes, pi n cap ds, where pi is equal to 3 by 4 times of x, y, z, and s is the surface of the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to 16, included in the first octant between z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 5. So, in the cylinder, we are discussing this one. You see, friends, just roughly I am giving the cylinder shape and uh, this in uh, the plane. See, if you consider this is x plane, this is y plane and this is the z plane. So, you evaluate in this one and that too in the first act. And they are given the limits of z is from 0 to 5. Okay. Now, you see pi, are they given? Yes. What is the pi value here? 3 by 4 times of x, y, z. Pi is okay. Next, n bar. n bar we need to find out. For what surface here? Cylinder surface. What they given? x square plus y square is equal to 16. So, consider the pi of x comma y is equal to that is x square plus y square minus 16. That's it. Now, normal to the surface is nothing but del pi. Del pi is equal to i into dou pi by dou x. That is 2x plus j into dou pi by dou y. That is 2y. That's it. Now, you required unit normal vector. That is n cap is del pi by mod del pi u1. Of course, this one you can denote with n bar. Not, nothing problem. Now, del pi is equal to 2xi plus 2yj. Now, del uh, mod del pi is nothing but i uh, square root of i coefficient square plus j coefficient square. Now, you have to simplify this. Then what you will have, you see, this is 2, you can take common, xi plus yj. Friends, you see, here 4, if you take an outside, square root of 4 is nothing but 2, and the square root of x square plus y square is there. What is the x square plus y square value you have? 16. So, here you see this 2, 2 getting cancelled. Then you will have xi plus yj by 16, which is a, which value? N cap value. Now, you have n cap also. Na? Uh, next, what is the required? You need to find out ds. And based on that uh, ds, you need to find out the limits. So, friends, you see, already they are given limits of z. Z is from where to where? 0 to 5. So, in this case, dx uh, will be projection on either xz plane or else ds is projection on a yz plane you have to take. Okay, now. Now, on the ds is projection on xz plane is nothing but dx dz by here you have n cap dot uh, j. ds is on uh, yz plane is nothing but here you have dy dz by n cap dot i. So, either you can take this one or this one. Now, I am choosing this one. In this case, if you want to evaluate, uh, this will be convert into uh, f bar pi n ds will be convert into double integral. Na? So, you require to find out the limits of x and z. Already you have z limits. Why you are not taking x, y is nothing but they are given hint is they are given this is in Z limits they are given. Z limits they are given. Okay, now. So, that is why I am choosing either XZ or YZ only. Okay, next. Moreover, surface of, surface is also X square plus Y square. So, you cannot integrate in that case. Now, here, uh, uh, N bar, N cap dot J, you tell me from this. N, ca, N bar dot J is nothing but XI plus YJ by 16 dot product of J. So, you will, uh, this is 16, square root of 16, 4. Sorry, I am doing small mistakes. Uh, 4. Then you will have j dot j is nothing but 4. Na? So, this is y by 4. n cap dot j is nothing but y by 4. Now, finally, you have to, uh, you can evaluate na? limits. Limits we need to find out. Limits for what actually? x square plus y square is equal to 16. Already I know the z limits. z is from 0 to 5. Now, I required which limit we are integrating with respect to what? x, z. z limits I have. Next, what limits I required? x limits. So, put y is equal to 0. If, uh, 
put y is equal to 0. If you put y is equal to 0, then you will have x square is equal to 16. That is nothing but x is equal to plus or minus 4. In this case, z is 0 to 5 and that too they are mentioned. We are evaluating the cylinder in the first octant. So, in the first octant is nothing but you have to take x is equal to 4 only. So, x is also moving from 0 to 4. Is it clear for everyone in this case? You see, on the exit, on, uh, exit plane, y value is 0. So, x value you are getting 4. So, x limits you know, z limits you know, and uh, you know that ds value. So, all values you know, you see, pi value, n value, ds value limits. Now, you, can you evaluate this one? Yes. So, now I am doing this one. Double integral pi n cap ds is equal to double integral pi is nothing but 3xyz by 4. Uh, n cap. What is n cap here? You have x i plus y j by 4 and ds is dx dz divided by mod n dot j. Mod n dot j is nothing but if it is negative then you will have a positive only. So that is y by 4. Now you have to simplify this. Okay. Na? Now you see friends here denominator 4 and this uh, by whole by na, so this 4 will be cancelled because it will become in the numerator that is why 4 4 cancel next to here you have a denominator y so this y and uh, this y getting cancelled now you see what i have first i am writing outside 3 by 4 i am writing outside next double integral of x z into x i plus y a times of dx dy uh, sorry dx dz now i limit uh, i need limits for x and z so limits of x are 0 to 4 limits of z are 0 to 5 now here you see this is a scalar and this is a vector multiply inside then you will have a vector only 3 by 4 times of integral 0 to 4 integral 0 to 5 if you multiply x inside then you will have x square z i plus if you multiply inside this is also 3 by 4 times of integral 0 to 4 and integral 0 to 5 and this is x here you see this is x y is there here okay one moment here so x z y x z y into dx dz you see here this is the first integral and this is the first integral and second integral in this case here also you have a dx dz once again i will add this one in separately so friends here i have separated uh, like two integrals in this case first to for the uh, for the solution i am separating i1 and i2 first i will solve i1 here i1 is equal to i have 3 by 4 times of integral 0 to 4 integral 0 to 5 x square z i am writing outside into dx dz integrand is in terms of xz and uh, we are integrating also with respect to xz and xz limits are here independent so this is a double integral in the first type so i can do irrespective of order integration first i am integrating with respect to x x square integration is x cube by 3 limits from 0 to 4 and z integration is z square by 2 limits from 0 to 5. So, here you see this is 3i by 4 and 1 by 3 if it is came outside upper limit in place of x we have to substitute 4. So, 4 cube is nothing but 4 4 are 16, 16 4 are 64 minus 0. Next 1 by 2 will come outside. Next uh, z square is nothing but 5 square that is 25 minus 0. So, in this case you see friends here denominator 3 and this 3 getting cancelled. Then i by 4 2s are here 8 into you have a 16 into you have a 25. 8 1s are 8, 8 8s are 64. So you will have 25 times of 8 is nothing but 200 i. So i1 is clear. Now I am solving i2. What is the i2 here? You see, I am writing directly here. i2 is equal to integral from 0 to, uh, 4 0 and uh, 0 to 5 x y z dx dz j. Okay. Friends, here you see, we are integrating with respect to xz, but here you have a, a integrand is containing y term also. So, in this case, what we have to do is, based on the surface, what is the y value we need to write? We have the surface x square plus y square is equal to 16. So, from this, we have to get a uh, y value. Na? So, in this case, what we will do, y replaced in terms of uh, xz. For that purpose, 16 minus x square then y is equal to square root of 4 minus x square we are taking. Plus or minus we will get. But here we are taking in the first octant. So, only y value we are taking this one. Now, integral from 0 to 4, integral from 0 to 5 and z into x into what is the y here? 4 minus x square into dx dz. Friends, here also you observe. Now, integrand is in terms of xz. But here uh, we are integrating with respect to xz. 
and also the limits are independent so you can do integration separate first i am doing integration with respect to z so z square by 2 limits from 0 to 5 okay now limits from 0 to 5 uh, and uh, i am doing integration of this one so how i can write you see integral 0 to 4 x into this is 4 minus x square power how much uh, 1 by 2 i can write here into dx friends you see bracket derivative is beside or not if it is not there how, what is the derivative actually 4 derivative 0 x square derivative 2 uh, 2x na? so minus 2x i am multiplying divide with minus 2 now bracket derivative is beside so power plus 1 by power plus 1 you can get so minus 1 by 2 i am writing outside first i have to simplify this next 1 by 2 is outside z square is nothing but 25 next you see friends here here minus 1 by 2 i am writing outside now bracket derivative is beside na? so 4 minus x square power plus 1 by power plus 1 means 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 what are the limits for this 0 to 4 now this is minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 next uh, into 25 minutes 20 minus 25 by 4 times into this is you can add 2 by 3 next now you substitute upper limit then you will have uh, actually friends this is 16 sorry here it is 16 16 now uh, 16 minus 16 is nothing but here 0 minus lower limit if you are substituted then you will have 16 minus 0 is nothing but 16 only na? yes or no so this 16 power 3 by 2 friends 16 power 3 by 2 okay now here minus you have outside so minus into minus plus and 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 then this is minus uh, into minus plus 25 by 6 times of 16 power 3 by 2 16 power 3 by 2 you can write 4 square voltage power of 3 by 2 2 to getting answer 4 cube is nothing but 64 so this is 64 2 3s are 6 2 and here 32 then you will have finally and friends actually this is i2 the product you have outside 3 by 4 so this is here 3 and this 3 getting answer 4 1s are 4 4 8s are uh, 32 then you will have 25 times of 8 that is 200 so this value i2 is what 200 j j is then so finally this value will be 200 i plus 200 j that's it so here you observe the integrand you got uh, the solution of the surface is what you have vector or not thank you for watching this video